Hi everyone, welcome to this week's short attention span webinar. Kelly, you heard it here first, it's summertime. Oh my gosh, couldn't have come any sooner, I tell ya. How much snow do you have in there in Chicago? Are you still <laughs> under two feet? I think it's finally gone. I think it really may actually finally be gone. I was driving around Boston and I was listening to the Red Sox game. They said it was 63 degrees at Fenway Park and I looked down and it was 80 degrees in my car and I was 12 miles away. And just that, yeah. that sea breeze coming in, just chilly. So anyway, we want to uh, do more than just warm you up. We want to give you ideas for the summertime and how to generate some sales. This topic came out of one of the discussion points in the conference call that I run as part of the Sales Challenge program. Great conversations we've had late, lately. And somebody asked this question, what am I going to do during July and August? So me being me, I first thought of fun. You know, mm -hmm. what about having a cookout for your customer? What about Love having it. an open house? What about having a barbecue? You know, mm -hmm. you throw the doors open. You have some kind of an open house. When I said that to you prior to going on the air, um, mm -hmm. you said, well, I have another idea, and that's kind of to go. Now, what did you mean by that? Mm -hmm. Well, it's almost like bringing the barbecue to them. You know, it's like taking them an indoor picnic, or if there's an outdoor space at their location, like a lot of business parks have outdoor spaces, you know, you could call them and say, hey, meet me downstairs. And you have a little basket and a little blanket, throw a blanket out there and bring them all ice cream sandwiches in the middle of an afternoon or something like that. And even make it a surprise if you want to. I mean, I have had customers that I did that for that absolutely thought it was the coolest thing ever. So it is. It's just, it's, I think, Bill, the whole point of what you're saying is that it should be fun. Like, yeah. it's, our job should be fun. I mean, all we do is talk to people all day long anyway, so why not make it, you know, really exciting and and something that they're going to remember. I mean, that's the thing, too. How many how many other people brought them a picnic? How many other people brought them ice cream? I did that once in a big way, and I've told you the story before, but um, in Cambridge, Cambridge, Mass., was the headquarters for Stridewright, and I badly wanted that account, so I rented an ice cream truck. I parked <laughs> it outside. I put banners over the top that said, Free Ice Cream for Stridewright Employees. I had my company name out there, Advanced Form Systems. Everybody knew my name by the end of the day. Oh, that's people fantastic. Just, it was a beautiful Friday afternoon, and people were just flooding out, just grabbing ice cream. You know, they kept playing the silly music, and it was great. It was terrific. That's so fun. Yeah, that was fun. So, but to business and serious stuff, let's talk about educational seminars. Maybe you want to put on a workshop. Maybe you want to teach people how to make camera-ready files or print-ready files. Uh, maybe you want to teach them about verticals. You know, here's how to make three ideas for for making your next trade show successful, or for a product launch, something that you've done well. Maybe you want to put something on about print and mail versus social media, you know, mm -hmm. educational stuff, because, and, and, and do it with a luncheon, by the way, and don't skimp on the food. <laughs> don't put out right. just junky food or whatever. Spend some money on the quality of food. Trust me on this one. Mm -hmm. um, any other kind of seminars, webinar, not webinar, seminars, Kelly? No, I mean, I think, again, it could be, I like your idea about it being something that you've done recently. I mean, you can talk about a project that you worked on and, I mean, but figure out a way to turn that into it and have an educational spin to it. Or you could find somebody on the outside that could come in and talk to them about something that's of interest to them. Like yeah. Trish Wikowski from the Fold Factory does great presentations. You know, you could, depending on what the geography is or what your budget is, you could have somebody like that come in or get a postal expert that's going to talk about you know, stuff that's going on with the post office or any any kind of big issue that's going on. I mean, the associations are great sources for that kind of stuff. So you want to check with, like, the NAPL or the PIA or ones like that to say, if I wanted to do something like this, what should I do? Also remember that it doesn't need to be specifically regarding your industry or your business. What I mean by that right. is you could do something on skills, you can put something. You can put out a, a, a seminar on leadership skills about getting mm -hmm. your business to the next level. I mean, who's going to show up to that? Yeah, entrepreneurs, right? Um, you know, uh, better communication or, or whatever. I mean, think about that. No one does that stuff. No one provides that kind of information. The last yeah. thought we had for uh, for summertime, the summertime dues, as we call it, mm -hmm. was uh, content creation. This is a great time to to start writing, to start creating. Kelly, you, met, you said maybe you want to do a blog. Mm -hmm. um, all great stuff. And you'll notice that Kelly's wearing a headset. If you do a lot of content creation, I highly recommend Dragon Dictate software. 
comes with a headset and its voice recognition software, it's as good if not better than typing. You have to speak clearly, and you, but it just it rattles off, it writes down everything that you say, kind of like what my kids do when they're around me, <laughs> a lot like that. So anyway, Kelly, go enjoy the summer with the kids. Get her in the water. I'm sure it's absolutely going to be uh, unbearable hot in Chicago right. soon by the time this thing gets played. But and don't forget, don't forget golf and baseball too. Take your customers golfing. Take them to a ball game. Do fun stuff like that too. This we only have a couple of months. I know to do the, the fun stuff. So take stuff advantage. Again. All right, everybody. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks, Bill. And we'll talk in another short attention span webinar.